A manifestation of the rainfall prediction by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency is causing nightmares for many communities across the country, with flooding causing devastation across many areas, leaving deaths and destruction of properties in its wake and rendering many homeless. In Dochi State, northeast Nigeria, it's estimated that flooding has killed at least 25 people this year alone, with property worth 950 million naira destroyed. There are fears that the situation might get worse, as the Nigeria Emergency Management Agency warns that 10 local government areas are still at risk of flooding, which may lead to food shortages due to the high number of farmlands washed away. 950 million naira is by no means a small amount of money. This does not include infrastructure that the government will have to put in. Like if you go to uh, um, Damba local government, the, the whole road wash out. The last few days have also been agonizing for several communities in Ilori West local government area of Kwara State in the North Central after many are rendered homeless following a rainstorm. The state deputy governor, Kayodi Alabi, is here to commiserate with the victims. We are here to see what's going on and then we will also bring some palliative for the people whose farm has so much and the village too. And um, we've also come to see the, um, the Emir of Patigi to sympathize with him and his whole community. The traditional ruler of Lafiaji is pleading for government to help with efforts to relocate the people. It has been happening annually. And um, what you discuss sometimes is probably to give a kind of cushion effect, very, very major, which could not help the people enough. That is just a temporary solution to the flooding problem as victims hope more proactive measures will be taken by government working with relevant agencies to use the information in the flood predictions to mitigate the negative impacts.